Hey, welcome. Thanks for joining us. Uh, with thousands of other believers around the world, we're joining the movement called Unite 714. It's um, praying uh, according to Second Chronicles 714 um, and just asking God to heal our land. So um, I'm going to share a quick soap of what uh, something that I did a couple of days ago. This is um, our family does soaps every morning. And, uh, and I read from Luke uh, 1. And um, it just talked about, uh, this talks about Jesus. And it says, uh, he will be great. He will be called the son of the highest. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father, David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom, there will be no end. And um, so that was the scripture. And the thing that kind of just stuck out was that a whole bunch of kingdoms have existed from the time of Jesus till now. The United States is like relatively new, a new kingdom. It's like 200 years old. Um, but there's a kingdom that existed before the United States and uh, it will exist far after the United States. And, um, and no matter what's happening, even though the coronavirus is happening and um, you know, all the, our economy could turn into a mess. Um, the confidence that we have is that we belong to a kingdom that's like not of the world. So I don't know. That's the thing that I've been um, meditating on, just kind of thinking of. And one of the things that kind of stuck out in that scripture is that um, that it started with uh, the family of Jacob. So the kingdom of God started in a family and so i don't have to be worried about the huge kingdom and stuff out there i just need to worry about um leading my family in a way that's right and pleasing to god so i don't know any thoughts on, on that like you're a father as well leading a family of young kids and with this quarantine you're stuck <laughs> stuck yeah. at home i remember well, you're working but um your kids are at home and you come to that. Yeah, I, I guess no that that's a good that's a good one and it's just um it's kind of like um putting your focus more on god rather than the worldly things right now and mm -hmm. it's um yeah i think that's a good scripture you're talking about something that like this virus did it kind of like leveled the playing field or kind of equalized everyone and Yo. prioritize the things that matter it's not about money and status and all this stuff but it's just about people and i thought that was super insightful yeah and that's yeah i felt like it this whole thing um i think it's a i, I think it's a i wouldn't say it's a good thing like i'm not saying it's good that it happened but basically it, it's almost like you stripped every human being of what they had built up and then you're relying on your 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 what is your life really based on you know now you know, and it's your foundation, your family, you know, what you believe in and, you know, that kind of stuff. So, um, and I think that's God's way of like bringing everybody to him. Yeah. 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 I was just talking to Sharina and she was, she was saying that everything that she would run to for, for fun and for comfort, whether it's like surfing or paddleboarding or pickleball or, you know, everything has kind of just been taken away and she just stuck in her house. And then when, when things get bad, there's like nowhere to go. <laughs> and I, I was like, yeah, this, that, it seems like that's what has happened. Like people a lot of times escape to their job or escape to um, how much they have. And like all of those things are being shaken. And what we really have is like our families and, and the Lord, our relationship with the Lord. and. Um, and we say that's a priority, but it's a little bit different when that is what you have. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, let's pray. We're just, okay. um, I'll just say a short prayer and then you want to close this? Yeah. God, we just thank you for um, your promises and your word um, that your kingdom will know no end. And uh, we just pray for all the families that are struggling right now through finances, uh, maybe tension in relationships. Um, we 
we just pray your peace on each house on Maui and uh, throughout our country and the world. Uh, God, we pray that those that have built their lives on shaky ground, that uh, you would bring them close to yourself and just reveal yourself that, that you care about each one, that you love each one, and that you're there uh, for each person who turns to you during this time. And, and use us, God, to, to share your peace and your wisdom with those around us. In Jesus' name. And Lord, we just want to thank you for this time that you have um, given everyone and you're making this, um, you know, a lot of families out there having more time with each other and more time with you. And Lord, please use this time to bring the non-believers to you and, you know, help everyone understand who you are and lean towards you in these tough times. Lord, we also want to pray for our world and have everyone at peace right now. And Lord, we just want to just pray for those that are sick and they will be healed. And we also want to pray for all the businesses that will be struggling through this and help them seek to you in these tough times. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thanks, Matt. Yeah. Thanks for those that, that, are, uh, that jumped in and prayed yeah. with us. And we'll see you again at 714. Take care. God bless. Yeah.